Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about my current drugstore mascara favorites and fails. So if you want to see which ones I am loving, which ones I hate, which ones are going straight in the garbage, and what do I already have ordered for a backup, keep watching this video, subscribe, like this if you like drugstore content, and yeah, let's get into it. So I only have three right now because those were the three that I had in rotation because how many do we need? So two of them happen to be by the same brand, which I didn't plan, but it just worked out that way. And so here we go. So I think we all know the quest for the perfect mascara is one that is rarely met with victory. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm a, a, in the Game of Thrones or something like that, because that is so not who I am. Um, but I always, always, always loved the Better Than Sex, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Um, it was my favorite for a long time, but that bad lad is like $30 or $28 or whatever. It's it's up there. And so I was searching for like a replacement or a dupe or whatever. And that's when I found my current love of all loves, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This, I would definitely say, is a drugstore dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara. It has a great giant fluffy brush, which if you like volume... This is the kind of brush you want. None of those like spiky skinny brushes, the big fatty kinds. The only complaint I have about this is that sometimes it dries up quickly. You really have to be mindful about keeping the cap tight. And if you do that, it should work out for you. Um, I probably repurchase this every eight weeks, which I don't think is terrible. Now, I'm not wearing makeup like I used to, like every single day and like going full in on it. So it does last me a little bit longer. Plus, I've been trying these other two for like the last two months. So that helped a little bit, but pretty much when I'm at the store, this and the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer, I just grab them because I always want to have them on hand. So this is the Love, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, I did just pop onto Ulta and check all the prices on these so you could go get them if you want or not. Um, this is $10.99 right now, uh, but I do think there is a sale, which brings me to my next video that will be coming up um, as soon as I receive my packages. I did order on Black Friday. And they had a deal, so I ordered a backup of this because this is my favorite mascara of the past probably two years. Going strong. Ride or die. So one day, I was like, you know what? $10.99 is still kind of a lot for a mascara. I was like, what if I could find a cheaper option? So I scoured around and looked online for some things and thought, you know what? Everyone talks about the Essence mascaras. And I think it's the Lash Princess that people really go in about. Well, I couldn't find that one, but they had this one. This is the Essence Get Big Lashes triple black. And I was like, okay, that sounds like something I'd be into. And when I first opened it, I thought, oh yeah, I like this brush. It's nice and big. It's going to be volumizing and be awesome. No. Did it make my lashes black? Yes. Did they get volumized? No. Did they get lengthened? I think they got shorter. <laughs> Can that happen? Um, it just was like rubbing a wet marker on my eyes. Like it just didn't do anything but just make black marks on my eyelashes. But they didn't get volumized. They didn't get longer. They didn't curl. They were just always kind of wet feeling. And I've had this for a couple of months and it hasn't like dried out to the sweet spot yet. It's just, no, no. And I've, I've kept it because I knew I wanted to talk about it for a couple of months and it's just been rolling around on my vanity. But okay, it was $3.99. Sometimes you just literally get what you pay for. So $3.99 Ulta. There's other ones that people swear by like the Lash Princess or whatever. Not this one. Not this guy. Ignore his beautiful colors on his. Looks like a peacock or something. I don't know. My eyes were drawn to the colors. I love purple. But no. And then and I'm already mad. <laughs> this new mascara came out by L'Oreal. And I was very excited because I was like, that sounds amazing. I love Lash Paradise. And I actually, L'Oreal does have, I feel like, some of the best drugstore mascaras because I also do love the Voluminous, the old school. My only complaint about that when I would use it is that I don't like waterproof mascara, so I never get into the waterproof. Why am I sitting like I'm going to run a race? Um, I never buy the waterproof versions of anything because I just don't like the ripping out of my own lashes or, you know, trying to get it off. So, but the Voluminous is great. The Carbon Black, oh, I love that one, but it transfers everywhere. And that's what I love about the Lash Paradise is that it does not ever transfer to my lowers, lower eye meets, never. 
So the voluminous looks beautiful, but transfer. So anyways, when they came out with this new one, got very excited. So this is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. Let's do a little, com I hate it. Let's do a comparison of the brush on this friend. Oh my God. And the, one of the things I hate the most just hit me like a Mack truck. It smells like poison, like burning tires, like just very potent chemicals. It's like, it's horrible. As soon as you open the tube, you smell. Okay. So this is, watch me get them confused. Wait, they're kind of different colors. This is the Lash Paradise. He's our friend. This is the Air Volume. They're pretty similar looking brushes. Oh, oh, oh. So the Lash Paradise is a little bit, oh man, they're pretty similar. Similar. This Lash Paradise is a little like chunkier, I guess. This one's a little bit thinner. They're pretty, 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 oh, hello. They're pretty similar. Yeah. I mean, unless you were smelling them. Lash Paradise, nothing. Sweet death. Oh my God, it smells so bad. So, clearly I don't like the air volume and I'm very heartbroken because it just seemed like it was gonna be amazing. Like they describe it as a feathery light volumizing and lengthening mascara. I mean, that's like all the things you want. You want your lashes to look soft and feathery. You want them to feel light as air. You want them to look voluminous and long and beautiful and alluring. By the time your eyes stopped bleeding from the horrid putrid smell of this one, you were left with just short clumpy lashes, lashes that didn't really look much different. So it uh, does not perform. It smells awful. And it's $13.99, which is more than the Lash Paradise. So I gave this a good old college try. I kept trying it like over and over again. But then I was like, well, I don't want to use it because I hate it. And I wanted my lashes to look pretty. So you know that it's not even worth retrying if you're like, I'm literally going to the grocery store, but I cannot put this on my lashes because they will look too bad for Kroger. That's pretty sad. So I don't know if this is going to last with its competitors within its own like brand of the Lash Paradise and the Voluminous. Get those. Do not get this. This is a nightmare in a tube. No, no, sir. So that is my quick analysis of some drugstore mascaras. This one, yes. These two, garbage piles. And in fact, because I'm going to, I think I'll save them for a declutter, I'm getting ready to like get rid of some stuff because I did do a little makeup shopping. I mean, I haven't been doing it because it's not free. But I did take advantage of some Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Ulta deals. So I basically stocked up on a couple of essentials that I always use and then I got a few new things to try and I got a couple of gifts. I think I got two gifts. So when all that comes in, I'm gonna sit down and film that video and let you know what my repurchases were of like my favorites that I always go to, gifts, and then what I'm trying that's kind of newish. Um, but yeah, friends, so that was my mascara showdown. So if you would like to see more drugstore content, of course, ring the notification bell because that lets you know when I upload and hopefully I'll see you soon, maybe even later this week or next week for a Black Friday Ulta haul. Follow me on Instagram at the Erin Alexa Show and you will be kept abreast of any new news. Goodbye now.